Hello fellow captain, this is Captain Collins. Welcome back to another episode of X4. The developers just dropped the new beta to patch 3.2 and they put something really cool in there, a new feature which is called Trade Rules. And this is based in the tab Global Orders. If you not have seen what Global Orders is and you want to check that out beforehand, there is an icon on the right top corner. There you can check out first the Global Orders, then come back to this video and I will give you the additional information for Trade Rules, which is completely new. Quick introduction to my Myself, as you know, I'm a Twitch streamer and YouTube content creator. I stream from Monday to Thursday, 7 p.m. Central European time. So stop by whenever you can, twitch.tv slash Captain Collins. And as always, if you like these quick and informative videos, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss them in the future. So come with me into the cockpit and let's see what we got. We jump into the menu, going to player information and into global orders. There you can see there is a new tab, which I did not have covered in the last video, trade rules, which is a new feature in the beta 3.2. If you want to have more information on that specific patch, then just jump into Steam, hit that public beta announcement and you get all the information about what's being added into this patch. It's amazing. Again, they doing so much work on this game. Trade rules to be clear right up front is not a rule for your traders. It is a rule for your station management. Station management means that with these trade rules, as we just jump into these, you can change how a station behaves, not how your traders behaves. So that would be better if they maybe called them station trade rules. So the developers gave you one trade rule up front which you can just take and do whatever you like with it. And this is the first trade rule, only my property may trade. What does that mean? So you have three options for this trade rule. That's station trades, station supply and sale of ships. What does that mean? Really quick, station trades means that you can restrict your station to sell wares to specific factions. The next thing, station supply, means that you can restrict your station from buying wares and from buying supplies for your station from specific factions. And the last thing is really cool, sale of ships means that your station, if you have a wharf or if you have a shipyard, will only sell ships to a specific faction you have chosen or you can restrict specific factions from buying ships from you. So think about that, you have an enemy and you don't want to have them buying your ships or buying ships from you because you want just your allies to buy ships from you, then you can restrict these factions. Okay, so how do you do that? You can check mark restrict all factions this is kind of backwards you can then allow factions to ignore this restriction and by adding factions you allow them to do the three things which i just explained that's the first time your own faction is in the select faction menu because you want to allow your own ships to do some things. And with that option, you can allow your ships just to trade at these stations. For example, you want to have a station which is supplying your other stations, then you can set a trade rule specifically for station trades just with my own faction so that this station is just supplying your other stations or that this station is just selling to your own ships. This is affecting just your stations. So if you go to the map and check that with a ship, you go in information and you have no availability of trade rules on your ships. There is no such thing than trade rules on your ships. This is specifically designed for stations. And I can show you that by clicking on your own station, going to the information, then you get the trade rules. You can set them on the global settings, of course, like alarms and blacklists too. And you can set the specific trade rules, which you developed in your menu and set them for your station. So you can give them different trade rules whenever they are buying stuff, whenever they are being supplied or whenever they are selling ships. Try it out, tell me how it works and have a good time with it. So let's jump back into space. So this was very, very quick an introduction into trade rules in addition to global orders. If you want to check out more of these guides, then I have linked you the playlist of X4 guides right here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. That was a very, very quick video because the beta patch just came out yesterday. So thank you very much. I'm Captain Collins. We'll see us on stream and have a good time. Bye bye.